Hi there, I'm Lisa and today I am designing for Coco Daisy. I will be using the January kit. Um, I am starting off by just showing you an older layout here. Um, today I am going to be doing um, my year's review. At the end of every year I like to do a layout and just have a small reflection upon the year and a small photo with the month and just a tiny bit about what we've done that month. Um, I thought I was really organised in my scrapbooking. I thought my layouts were at the back of every album. However, I can, I've only looked back a few years, I think to 2012, I can only find 2013. So I've actually ended up with a new New Year's resolution today in that I need to sort my scrapbooks out. They are really messy. I have so many unfiled layouts that I wasn't quite sure I had that, or I wasn't aware I had that many. So um, I need to sort that out I really do so however this is my 2013 just to give you a little look of what I'm doing today um, I'd use this simple stories page here this paper and some stickers and like I say just a small reflection each month upon what we've done and I do feel it's a really nice way to finish your year's scrapbook album however like I said I obviously although the intention was there for it to be as my finished layout of the year I obviously haven't popped it in the back so I do need to go out and search for those so let's get on to today's I'm just going to show you how I prep for this I'm using the remainders of my January Coco Daisy kit excuse my sleeves today I'm absolutely freezing I've set my alarm to get up early in scrapbook and it's really really cold um, so last night I set about just going through my photos I filed the monthly and I also went through my Flickr account and I just made a note of everything that we've kind of done so just really scruffy notes as you see and I've chosen some photos and I've just printed them off really small these are just two inch squares and um, these are what I'm going to be using for my photographs I've got the pieces of the kit that's left over these are what I'm going to be using it is quite nice um, I find when I scrapbook I like to have just a small bunch of papers that coordinate and embellishments and um, it gets me on my way. So these are my papers that I am using. So let's get started. I am going to be, I've got a design in my head. Obviously we don't have so much space to play with when it comes to these review pages um, as it's mainly taken up by photographs so in some ways it's a quicker layout because you kind of know what you're doing right I, I'm right, what am I doing here I'm going to take off this trim and I am going to I could have kept that there can I let's want as much paper to play with as possible as obviously the photos are going to take up quite a lot of space I am going to use, I'm going to be doing it the opposite way to what I usually do actually, the cardstock usually frames. Today I am having the busy paper. I have printed off my months like this um, on my PC, so they are going to be cut out. I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to cut the photographs out and then I am going to start laying everything down. So my base is stuck in place and I have cut all my photos out and they are in order. I have purposely left a really nice wide white frame um, and I will use this for my journaling to go around. If you don't print off your own photos or you haven't actually got a frame, all you can do is stick them onto a white card and um, just cut around to create the, cre the frame. So I am now going to be sticking this in place um, because you oh, what have I got here I think it's from my trimmer um, if you as there's not a huge amount of space for a design it's about trying to create interest in other areas so for me this is going to be the edge I'm going to lay this in place and just stick that down in a moment um, I will then also position my photos so that I can see that they are all going to fit. Um, let's start off with that one. So I'm going to lay them in place. Like I said, there's really not much room for design. Um, ideally, obviously, I would like to get six in so I can have two 
rows but that's not going to happen so we are going to spread them out instead that's not a bad thing because they're quite diddy this will work and I'm going to put some of the pink going across right now I just want to make sure that my photos are going to fit they're mostly just of um, us rather than actually where we've been. Um, I started looking at the photographs and as much as I'd love to have some landscapes and nice things that we've done, at the end of the day it's my family that's important to me for this particular page so um, I've decided to go with people. Um, and I've done a larger one for the very last one. So I'm happy with that actually. The three rows works really well. So that was cutting these two by two inches and obviously slightly larger for the last one. I'm going to cut some of the pink to go across and then I'm going to stick in place. So as you can see, the layout is getting there. It's looking a little bit more like a layout now. I've also cut my months into pieces. Now I have cut, stuck the strips down with PVA, but the center ones, I did actually use my double-sided tape gun um, just so that I could reposition them if I needed to. And I've done the same with the photographs. Then that way you can easily just take them off and jiggle them around until you're happy, which does really ease the stress of scrapbooking. Now I've got some old glassine envelopes here, which I'm going to use. I do always keep them when I'm scrapbooking um, from leftover from my Coco Daisy kits. And I'm going to be using these as um, I've got some extra photos. I've got one here, for example, um, which was my September photo. Um, we did a trip to Windsor and when I was choosing the photos, there were actually quite a few I would have liked to have picked. So what I'm going to do is print some more off like this and then just pop them into the glassine envelopes and um, you can still include them then. So I'm going to add these. Let's pop one here. Let's just pop a bit of tape on the back. And then that way you can add more photos. I want to pretty this up a little bit so that it looks a bit neater. Should we pop this one down here? I might actually trim that off there. And then like I say, you can just, you can add tickets and all sorts. I'm going to, this one's slightly too big for what I want. So let's fold that up. And now it's a little bit shorter. Actually, let's do that one straight like the other one because the photo's at an angle. Let's fold that down for now. Kind of wanting it there to be a little bit of a balance there. Okay, I can always reposition that, that's fine. Now I am also going to stick the dates in place move those out the way and I've got I was going to have a little look at this here I was going to cut out some of the bits and pieces to go on the layout and the other paper I wanted to use I wanted to use some of these hearts so I'm going to have a little play and see what's what I've had a slight change of heart and I am now cutting out the hearts on this paper here this is pink paisley and I've decided to add one heart um, to each photograph and then pop the date in there, the month. So I'm going to do that for the whole of the year. So this is where I'm at so far. I've stuck everything in place. I've got my hearts. I've gone around with the black pen and I've stuck the months inside. I've also just journaled roughly around the white frame of each photo. Everything's stuck in place. I'm now going to decorate and I'm also wanting to add a title. I've decided to add the title down the bottom here. I do like to have a little bit of space so it's not completely full. So I've got some of this pink paisley ephemera here which matches the papers. And I am just going to add some wording followed by some numbers so that I can do 2016. I'm gonna pop these along the bottom here actually let's bring that over slightly and I've got my numbers so the title is in place I've slotted the letters sorry the numbers underneath I'm now going to um, include 
some of the other um, ephemera. Actually, I might stick this on with a foam, piece of foam tape to give it a bit more height. I really think by adding the white frames, it really lifts the page. Um, I think it needs that, that light in there. Right, so I've got some other bits and pieces I was going to add. Came in the kit, like that. Let's move that over, otherwise that's going to um, obviously not slot in the, um, the plastic scrapbooking pocket. I still want that at an angle, but like that. I don't stick everything flat. I like things to have a bit of texture and a bit of feel in them. Obviously, they're going to get flattened slightly in the um, albums anyway, but um, they look nice when they go in like this. Let's pop that there. Bold that slightly, and that's going there. Pop this at the top that says our story, and I also wanted to include this. I don't particularly like the gold, but I like the you always make me smile. So I'm going to cut that out. I have cut some of these bits out from this um, pink paisley paper that I had here. There's quite a lot of nice little phrases, so they're quite fun to cut out. You don't obviously have to use the paper as a whole or use the blocks. Um, I'm going to pop that on there, and I think I'm almost done. There, I've added um, a little arrow there, and I think that's pretty much everything I was going to include. I want a bit of empty space as I don't want it to look too crowded and I think that's it so we've got our story and all the months with a little journaling and I've also got the pockets there so that I can pop some extra photographs in and I'm done I hope you've enjoyed that today that's my 2016 review page and I will be putting this straight in the back of my album I need to go and find my others from the previous years thank you very much for joining me I will leave some photos of this and um, I will see you soon bye